Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a special week because this is the week that I graduate from grad school. I'm so excited. I am not walking for graduation. I didn't do that for my bachelor's either. I just don't see it as a necessary step for me. It's a personal decision, but I am excited to celebrate my graduation and I have this cute kit that I've been hoarding for like over a year and I think it's so pretty and I'm so excited to use it. So let's look at the kit real quick. This is from Planning Roses and it is called Your Journey and it has these beautiful florals that were really popular last year. This kit is from 2018. You'll see that in the deco. Luckily there's no dates um, in the full boxes so I can still use this because I saw this last year and I knew that I had to have it and I've been looking forward to using it ever since. So we have a couple of little flags up here. We've got the full boxes of course with some um, quarter boxes down there. We've got some washi and the bottom washi which is so gorgeous. I love the colors in this. And then we've got some headers, some functional things, and some more boxes. And we've also got some little boxes here. And then we've got some functional deco stuff and some half boxes and some more little labels. So I will probably need to supplement some for this kit, but I think that I will be okay. I also added on the day covers, which now I just don't really like. And I think I'm just going to do deco instead and just leave the dates as is. So I do have some 2018 stickers in here, but that's only like two of them. Oh, I can't use that one, which is okay because I have kind of a, a mortar board over there and there's one. So I'm good with that. Um, so I'm going to put this up at the top. I think this is just so cute. I really like it a lot. Um, and then i am just got a couple of things from Coffee Monsters Co. I'm going to use these as a little countdown at the bottom. And then it doesn't match like exactly, but we're just going to make it work. And then I have this one from Once More With Love. I don't really care for these because the gold glitter doesn't really go with this one. But I do love these little munchkins and some of this deco. So I think that will be cute to incorporate. And I think we're ready to get started. I'm going back and forth on whether I want to use foil this week. Um, I did not use foil. I'm still finishing up the spread. I'm filming this really early actually on Thursday instead of like Saturday or Sunday. Um, I used foil like all through April so I felt like I needed to take a break but now I kind of want to get back into it but I don't know. I'm not feeling the foil today so we're just going to go for a non-foil look and I think it's still going to be just as pretty so um, I've got a couple of things there and I think we're ready to get started so I'm going to speed you up and do a voiceover. All right so I'm going to start with um, whiting out the lines at the bottom just to give me um, to make sure that I wouldn't like see the lines through the bottom washi because I think it's so pretty and it's a pattern that I've used before and I'm excited to use that again. And then I'm just going ahead and whiting out the holidays and the black asterisks on the flags just so they wouldn't show through. And I didn't really need the holidays on there because I was going to put them into the spread anyway. So I'm going to put some deco up there so I needed some room. And then I chose these black glitter headers. I really like the black in this kit. It just kind of pops and I wanted to bring in more of that up at the top. And then for the deco at the top, I'm just pulling in some of the bigger pieces. There were a few pieces of deco that I couldn't use because it had 2018 on it because I bought it um, last spring and I've been hoarding it since then. So I did have to omit a couple of those, but it wasn't very many. And I'm just pulling in the big pieces. Some of these pieces are really large, so I kind of didn't have a chance to use some of them, but it's okay. They look really nice and spaced out up there, so it all worked out. And then I'm just trimming off the excess. I love that look of like when it kind of flows off the page. 
and I'm just erasing my little marks where I put for my countdown. I wanted to make sure I didn't put them in the right in the wrong spot. So I'm just putting down these stickers from Coffee Monsters Co. It's a little graduation countdown. If you are graduating, I recommend this little sheet. It has tons of stuff on it for graduation and it's just it kind of gives you your spread a little something extra. So over on the sidebar, I'm putting in the quote sticker first, which says, um, go out there and something. I can't read it right now and I don't have the spread in front of me. Um, I'm just pulling out a couple of script stickers. Oh, go out there and do amazing things. Awesome. And then putting down some washi and I am going to pull in a little leftover checklist. I like writing on stickers. Um, the paper in this planner is really, really nice. I like it a lot, but it is kind of um, rough-ish and sometimes I don't like how my handwriting with my thin pen writes on the paper. It's just, it's very picky. It's, it's not that important. Let's move on. So I just put down that script sticker with some deco to kind of make that little checklist look a little cuter. And then I'm pulling in this cleaning checklist from Nikki Plus 3 and I always put that down at the bottom in the corner over there and I pulled in this really pretty um, kind of light mauve color and then this kit didn't have any um, habit trackers so I went ahead and found a few that would work and I pulled in a black one and a pink one and they match perfectly so it's great and then that half box is going to be for um, just kind of celebrating this week and so I'm gonna pull in this little munchkin and right in there I am finally done yay so I'm just filling in a couple of to do's and then my habit trackers so this week I am tracking writing in my health log and watering my grass which funny enough didn't even have to water this week at all because it rained every single day this week so I just kind of wasted that habit tracker but that's okay I'll need it next week. And then I'm putting in my school script stickers from Sweet Eva's Paper. She does not make these anymore, but I still have some, so I'm going to use them up. That one is so crooked, and I totally um, didn't ever notice. And right now I'm grabbing a different weekend banner because I did not like the one that came in the kit. And this one is from Virgo and Paper and it's just really bold and fun and I decided to put it down at the bottom. I think it looks cute there. So for my videos this week I'm just pulling in a couple of pieces of washi and I'm going to pull in some little Coffee Monsters Co. YouTube stickers and the colors in this sheet really match the kit so I thought that looked really cute. And so Monday was my regular plan with me and the um, Wednesday was kind of a fun video. I uploaded my um, spreads that missed the mark and they're spreads that I just either would have done differently or just didn't really like how they came out. And then Friday was my EC haul. It actually went up like early Saturday morning because it wouldn't upload. It was just taking forever so I just waited till Saturday morning but that's fine that it's on Friday and then to mark a um, it was supposed to be my leadership team meeting but we didn't have that because it was star testing so I just changed this one into um, here's where I'm realizing that I didn't do the right thing so I just whited out onto the label and then put in that this was star US history test for our kids. Um, this was state testing. If you're not in Texas, the star test uh, rules how we do school and especially in May and April. So this week was testing week. We had lots going on this week. It was kind of crazy, but we didn't really have any major problems, which is really nice. Um, testing is very stressful, so it's good when it goes smoothly. So here I'm just marking on a couple quarter boxes that Tuesday we had Algebra 1 and Wednesday was Biology. And I just pulled in some little Coffee Monsters Co. with the pencils. I think those are so cute. It kind of bugs me that Monday is different, but I wanted to keep that sticker there because I love those coffee cups. Alright, back to Monday. I'm pulling in this little 
black glitter label. And I'm looking through my samplers. I actually this week started working on organizing my stickers how I want them. So sticker organization video will be coming in a couple weeks. I still have to organize a couple of things and I'm waiting on a couple of things to get here in the mail. So it's coming though. Don't worry. It's nothing fancy though. Don't get your hopes up. Okay, on that label, I marked with this little planner girl, Crafty Banana Coffee Cup, and it says EC Early Access. So I did order my new planners for next year on Monday. It took me a while actually to decide everything. It was kind of interesting. Usually I already know what I'm gonna get before I even get in there. There were a couple of things that were out of stock that I wanted to get, so I will be ordering the EC Teacher Lesson Planner and I will, hopefully they're back in stock and I'll be able to grab those then. And I'll share them with you then. Okay, so that box above the EC Early Access is for a workout and then above that I put in the black floral full box. And then I, oh not the black one, the white one. And then I just wanted to mark with these little glasses that um, I needed to get sub plans ready for these three days because I wasn't going to see my kids. I did end up seeing them like my later classes, but I did miss a couple. So I needed to make sure that I had those sub plans ready for the people covering my classes. So on Tuesday, I went ahead and put down this full box and I just think that one is so pretty with the little stack of books. And then here, I just kind of messed this up a million and at one times, but I wanted to use that for some separation and then I, it's just a mess. It comes together. That half box is for a workout there. And then I'm pulling in another little um, leftover checklist. I like to incorporate checklist now a little more than I used to and I just pulled in some washi for marking teacher appreciation day but this little munchkin was a little bit taller than the piece of washi so I decided to add in another little strip just to kind of make it spaced out correctly, but then I cut this wrong. It's just, it's stupid. Sometimes I can see things in my head and it makes sense. And then when I'm trying to execute that, it just doesn't really work how I wanted it to, but I like try for too long. So here I'm just trying for way too long to make this work. And it just, it didn't work. So I decided to add in another piece of the mauve colored washi just to fill the little space there and I had to cut it down just a little bit so I decided this time since I cut crooked all the time to use my exacto blade and so that made that box a little bit bigger which made the space for the black washi a-okay and then I could write on the label teacher appreciation day I hate that star testing falls on Teacher Appreciation Week every single year. Okay, and then on Wednesday, I knew that I wanted to put in that full box. I'm trying to alternate like white colored, black, white, I don't know. It makes sense in my brain that like the colors are spaced out, so it looks nice. But it does look a little weird that that black strip is right next to the full box. It's okay. And then below that, I wanted to put in a box for my workout. And then I also wanted to note that I needed to send my mom's birthday card and Mother's Day card to her. And I wanted to make sure to get it out on Wednesday because otherwise it would not get there in time. Her birthday is, it usually falls either on Mother's Day or like right before or after. So I try to make those separate. Like my sister has her birthday the day after Christmas. So I try to make her birthday stuff very separate from Christmas. Just because, you know, 
birthdays are special. Mine is next week, by the way, and hers is on Monday. So next week's going to be a birthday spread. Okay, so for Thursday, I knew that I wanted to put in another checklist just so that I would have it um, if I needed it or when I needed it. So I found this black one and then I put these full box. This is your journey on the globe. I love globes. I collect them and I love that full box. And I wanted to make sure I put it in the middle of the spread. And then here's where I'm kind of figuring out that color pattern again. So I have a colored one, a white, a colored one, and then a black. Okay, so back to Thursday, I put in this box for a workout. And then that box right there is to mark that we had a half day with the kids because we were having a teacher appreciation lunch and we got out a little bit early, which is nice. Um, that box, hold on. I'm just kind of skipping around here. I'm holding in this box for actually marking graduation, which I did not walk at graduation. Um, my school that I actually went to is in Dallas, well, Arlington. And I went to Dallas last weekend. I didn't want to have to go twice in a row. Plus it was going to cost me um, about $300 to actually like get there and graduate and all the stuff and everything. So I decided not to do that. Plus I just don't really want to. <laughs> so I decided no on that one, but I did put in a couple cute stickers for that. And then back on Friday, this is where we're, I'm marking teacher appreciation lunch. We had steak. Our school board made us a steak dinner and it was so delicious. I work at a school in the country and they have, we had fresh steak. So I'll just leave it at that. So um, instead of walking at graduation, I decided to go get a massage, which was lovely. And then on Friday to celebrate, my friend Amber and I kind of hosted a um, happy hour and because we went just through these um, courses together. So I pulled in this little drinking emoji, and then I put this little graduation cap on that. How cute is that? Adorable. And then I'm just putting in that I have a massage scheduled. I do not like how my writing came out right here, but it was too late and I was out of half boxes and I really wanted to use this floral one and so I just kind of made it work. I didn't really plan that out very well, so it just looks weird, but it's okay. I just added some hearts because I feel like I needed to fill in some space. So I was going to put a box down at the bottom of um, Saturday because I like to mark what I do on Saturday nights even though it's not very exciting most of the time. But I decided in lieu of that because I knew that I wasn't going to do much that day besides like go to my massage and relax all day. I just put in a checklist. I'm just pulling in a little leftover checklist. I didn't really like the ones that came in the kit. They were rather large so I opted for these instead. And then at the top of Sunday, I put in my prayer list here with a little bit of deco. And then I'm fitting in this full box because I knew that we weren't going to do anything else at school that day. And then I'm just putting in this checklist here. And it kind of um, looked awkward, so I moved it down a little bit and just pulled in a piece of washi to fill the space. 
I don't feel the need to use like to do headers all the time. Sometimes I will, but I already know what that checklist is for. Like I already know that's to do's. So I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but you know, if I have the space, I'll do it. Okay, and then on Sunday here, I'm putting in this half box to mark a workout, but instead of working out, I'm going to work in my yard because the rain has finally stopped. I was getting a little sick of it, and I'm just marking that I want to work in my yard for quite a bit and count that as my workout, and I'm going to plant some new grass seed. I'm rehabbing my yard. It's been a process, so it's looking really nice, though so far. It's just in the awkward stage of being redone. And then below that I put in a couple of little munchkins to mark calling my mom for Mother's Day. And here's where I kind of figure out that I want to mark Mother's Day. So I am cutting down this full box a little bit just for the space. And I'm going to fit in um, a little Mother's Day foiled rose gold foiled um, script sticker from Scribble Prince Co. I thought that her rose gold is very pink so I thought that it would match the spread pretty well and it does and I'm just pulling in a piece of black washi and I think it looks really nice on that it really pops her present is on back order which makes me annoyed but it will get to her eventually and then this little box is to mark meal prep so I'm just pulling in another emoji this one with the little salad looks cute and then I also wanted to mark editing some videos so I'm just putting in another strip of washi and the little laptop from the kit itself and I'm just lettering in edit. And then I'm putting in the rest of this, well, part of the um, full box. So I just cut it down so that it would fit. And I think that looks cute because there needed to be some more black on this side of the page. And I love the florals in this kit. So pretty. All right, here's what I have so far, which is looking very full. I'm not really sure why. I don't know, but I am loving this. I think it's really cute and it's very festive for this week. And I think it's just perfect for celebrating my graduation. So I will be back in a minute to show you the finished spread. So here is the finished spread and I love this. It's so fun and pretty at the same time. It has like all the florals that I want, but it also has like the pops of black and it just, I love a good theme week. So this turned out so pretty. I still have lots of things to do, honestly. I've got um, all of my cleaning to do. And I am feeling pretty worthless. No, not worthless. Um, feeling exhausted and tired after my um, massage. And I'm just, I just, all I want to do is just curl up on the couch and watch Game of Thrones. But I'm going to be productive. I'm going to push through. So I will get all my stuff done. I just haven't yet, obviously. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Let's zoom in and I'll show you. Oh, hold on. Let me show you what I have left in the kit. So I've got a little bit of the washi page left. I didn't use the date covers. This is some deco I didn't get to use. Here are some functional things. Got almost all of that page. And then I've got some of this left as well. Um, now let's zoom in and I'll show you everything a little closer. Okay, so we have coffee cups by Crafty Banana. Um, there's one down here too. Um, I've got some Coffee Monsters Co. Some Once More With Love CD stickers. Um, down here, the Once More With Love. These little countdown stickers from Coffee Monsters Co. Nikki Plus Three. And then another Coffee Monsters Co. And then over here on this side, let's see, we've got Once More With Love, Virgo and Paper. Um, 
more Coffee Monsters Co. And more Coffee Monsters. I went crazy with the Once More with Love and Coffee Monsters Co. I think they just looked really cute with this spread. This weekend banner is from Virgo and Paper. And I think that is everything for this spread. I hope that you enjoyed it. I had such a great graduation week. We had a blasted happy hour and I loved my massage and it feels good to be finally done with um, school. And I'm probably not going to get any more degrees after this. I feel like I'm a-okay and finished. <laughs> it was quite the ordeal, but I made it through. It's done. I highly recommend um, furthering your education if you want to. It's just a lot of work when you're almost 35 and set in your schedule and all that. That's a bunch of excuses. Do it if you want to do it. And happy graduation week to me. And I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.